So in previous videos, I have talked about how I um, learn about my subject while I'm painting and I submerge myself in them. Well, this is an example right now. I'm painting Celia Cruz and I am, not only am I looking at a picture of her, but I've been watching her biography. And interviews and whatever I need to do to get through it. And here she is so far while I'm working on her. This is my fourth day working. And it's almost done. I haven't had a lot of time to work on it. It probably would have finished it in three, but hey, it's okay. She's looking gorgeous. And then I have to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm going to detail her face first, finish the final details, and then worry about the background later. Um... It might stay like this, it might not. I mean, this guy completely changed, so who knows. Update on Seria Cruz. Uh, so I'm just thinking that I when, when I started painting today, I was like, oh, I'm gonna finish this quickly. That's not true. That always happens. Um, I always have to, you know, I try my best to up the ante. And I definitely did that with Maya Angelou and the details. Um, and I have to do that for Celia Cruz. Obviously, I want to do that for every painting is I want to make them better. Uh, so, there we go. So, it's probably going to take me a little longer and it's fine. Uh, the better that you get at painting, the harder that the next painting becomes. In, in many ways. So. I'm just working on the final details now. Uh, she's done for the most part. I'm going to work on the shirt a little bit more and that's it i started painting at 10 no at 11 and i thought i was gonna finish in an hour and it is now almost 6 p.m <laughs> i'm painting celia cruz next so i'm gonna finish her today I'm, i just need to finish that final detail Uh, and then I'll worry about the background. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. It might stay like that. It might change. Who knows? This guy is completely changed.